Hello everyone, my name is Ezra, and you're watching Eelsmo 15. Eelsmo 15. Now this here is my 1997 Ford Ranger. It's got the 4.0 V6 and four wheel drive, and I love this thing. I've really grown to learn a lot about Ford Rangers in general. Just I remember one of my first videos about the channel, I said it had a V4, and I went back in the, and watched that video, and I really cringe really hard. I'm like, wow, that was a stupid thing to say. But I know better about this truck. I know a lot, a lot more about it than I did before. It's with the 4.0 V6. It's pretty strong. It does it does well for what it does. It's a mid-sized truck though, being the Ranger, it's not gonna pull anything super, super heavy. Legally, of course. So, that's why I decided to buy another truck. Yes, this here is still my truck, but I have something else I wanna show you. Let's show you real quick. Here's my 1994 Ford F-150, and this truck is the newest addition to Eelsmo 15. Now you may be wondering, why would me, one singular person, need two different trucks? Let me do a little explaining about this. So, originally I bought this truck because, number one, it's bigger, and I wanted to do more towing. The Ranger can do a little things with my little trailer. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed the horse trailer, but it can pull that empty, kind of. Um, but. I really wanted something for bigger, be it something to be able to put the tractor on and take it to other places. Please go away, chicken. And this here is my solution. I picked it up for my dad's friend at work for $2,000, like, get out of my driveway. Um, and I've been happy with this thing too. So without further ado, let's show you guys the truck and get on with the video. Alrighty, so let's just go on ahead with it. Let's go on the outside first. This is the extended cab with the regular uh, size bed. Um, it has four wheel drive in this one. So, I mean, it was a really good deal that, I mean, I got this thing with four wheel drive. There's nothing super wrong with it. Um, and it's it doesn't have like the, I don't know what you call them. What are they? Uh, I don't know if these are tow mirrors, but I call them tow mirrors because there's a shorter one and they aren't go out as far. So, uh, they're the non-power. They're the non-power mirrors. So you have to physically like force them to the way you want. Oh, my mirrors cracked. I didn't notice, notice that before. Oh well. Um, I will say this truck is rustier than the old Ranger. Um, technically, the Ranger's newer, but whatever. Uh, so I'll eventually put some fender flares on that. Maybe take care of that. Uh, there's not some rust as bad as on the other side, but there's some rust right there. And there's some. Yeah, it's just an old dirty truck. I'll wash it today. Um, one of the things about these cool trucks, this is, I'll make go back a little bit. So this being a 1994, this was something called a Ford OBS, which stands for original body style. And when I first bought this, I'm like, okay, whatever. And I researched this thing so much and I love this generation of Ford F series trucks. I love them so much. I decided I want to buy more trucks, but I cannot make that financial decision. Um, another thing I like about these trucks is that it has two gas tanks. So I primarily use this front one and I use the back, the back one for a backup tank. Um, but I can get more to that in a second. It does have a tow package on it. Um, it's just, it's just standard receiver hitch. Uh, it also has the seven pin on it, which originally was right here. Um, but if you can kind of see, that's kind of far from the receiver hitch itself. Normally, that's not a big problem. With my other two trailers, the horse trailer and the 5.8, it's not a problem. With the 16-foot trailer, it is a little bit of a problem. It reaches over here, but when I turned really sharp to the left to back something in or whatever, that cable got, or that cord, that, what do you, what do you, that, um, my electrical line got really, really tight. So I moved it right here and at an angle, and it works much better for me. Um, everything's like really metal. I, I know this was a really popular truck and my parents like went to high school and everything and I told, told them like, hey, yeah, yeah. Um, like this truck is so nostalgic. Um, I ended up did putting this toolbox on it. Uh, it's okay. I like it. It's not as, I don't like it as much as the, uh, Ranger's toolbox, but it does for what I want it to do. 
This was originally a inverted kingpin trailer hitch in the back of the truck, and I actually have it in the stool box. I'll have to think of it. Um, I have. I need to go in here and organize it because. I bought jumper cables and it didn't come with a cover, which is annoying, but I will eventually plan to organize all this I don't like leaving a mess, but this is an inverted kingpin You can kind of see this is basically a part that goes on to like a semi trailer and then the semi truck goes on itself and latches onto that bolt However, this is inverted and I've hardly I've never seen one in person before um, but I researched online and they were like used from like the 70s and something on like big campers and stuff. So I ended up uh, having to pull that out with the tractor and I broke the tractor with that, breaking one of the hydraulic cylinders. I'll put that footage up now. Anyway, so I eventually got that pulled out and unbolted and everything and just ended up taking it out and it worked. Um, but yeah, she is the XLT package and her engine is the 5.8 liter uh, V8. And it is definitely a step up of horsepower and acceleration than the Ranger. So much as I love you, this thing gets up to speed much better. Now, I will say, you get better gas mileage, so... There are pros and cons. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look on inside the truck. I love these handles. You push the button, and of course I open it, and the door panel's falling off. That's kind of embarrassing. I did let my dad drive this truck last because uh, he also got a new truck. He got a 2008 uh, F250 with the 4.0 or 4.6.4 uh, power stroke. And uh, I kind of wish you got a 7.3. But anyway, it's a nice truck. It's old. Um, and it's not it's not nearly as nice as the Ranger. Of course, the Ranger has seen better days too. Especially living on this gravel road, it can be a little rough. But overall, it's nice, except for the ceiling. I was driving from home from work one day and had the, these super cool little uh, side windows. I love these things. I wish they were on modern cars now. Um, but I had, I had the windows down too, and it just decided to catch a little bit of hole right here, because, uh, part of it was a little bit ripped up and destroyed, and it just, whoo, so, yeah, that's kind of destroyed. I'm, I don't know if I am going to take all off, or just leave it, and just try not to ignore it. Maybe you guys, you can, down in the comment section, let me know down below what I should do. I do eventually plan to fully restore at least that truck in the future. I'm not selling that truck. That truck is not for sale. But I do eventually hope to maybe fully restore both both of these trucks in the future. Hopping on into the passenger seat, we have the pass or the uh, the, the center console, which can flip up into a seat. I'm not gonna fully flip it up because it's kind of broken. Uh, you can't fold it back down without using a screw to or something to push the mechanism back down. So now uh, you got the glove box. Nothing super special. Uh, I really, I just overall love these older trucks. I love the Ranger. I love this truck so much. Like my mom's minivan, it's just, I just don't like it. It's just, it's too fancy, too computer. I can feel the torque and the, I just love older trucks. Now I will say this does have an aftermarket radio. It works, has an aux cord, and that's all I care about. As long as I can play my music with an aux cord, I don't care if it's Bluetooth or whatever. Um, this is really cool. So this is not. It is an automatic transmission, as you probably guys could tell. You have park, neutral, you have park, reverse, neutral, drive, second, and first. Um, it's just a normal sh column shift. It's exactly the same as the Ranger. Uh, not in terms of look, but in terms of what you get. Uh, in terms of gears and everything. But um, it's uh, also a electronic four-wheel drive uh thing so my ranger has a switch like kind of like this so you have two wheel drive four wheel drive four wheel drive low um <laughs> six wheel drive no i wish i had six wheel drive that'd be cool um <laughs> but anyway this is you uh you have on the fly four wheel drive and i'm like that is really cool now that being said i don't like to move be moving super fast when i'm putting it in the four wheel drive i maybe go at a maximum of 50 miles an hour so even then, I like to go really slow when I shift in because I just know those gears in there like to 
uh, feed together. Anyway, so this is kind of a, an ashtray, which I do not use for smoking because I don't smoke. <laughs> I usually just put my phone in here or whatever. Um, also has another power outlet. I need to take that out. Um, another power point. This is a trailer brake controller. And I don't know if it's wired properly because when I've hooked it up to other trailers before with brakes, it just doesn't work. I know the trailer brakes on our 16 foot trailer don't work. Um, but nevertheless, I have tried other trailers with properly working brakes and it does not work. So I do know that it's getting power though, because that little light on the top right here does come on when I'm plugging it in. And, um, so yeah, so that's, that's good to know. Let me hop over to the other one, other side of the truck and let's, uh, take a look on that side. All right. So hopping on into this truck, same door handle. Not that it'd be any different. Hop on in. And it's quite comfortable, honestly. I've gone like a few, um, probably a few hours in this truck, maybe an hour, an hour and a half. I haven't gone super long road trips, um, but overall, these seats aren't really all that uncomfortable. I actually kind of enjoy them. The only thing I don't like about this truck so far, which isn't even all that big of a deal, is the fact that my seat, this is as far back as it goes, so, <coughs> goodness me, I'm sorry, I sneezed. Uh, I don't have too much lug room, but I still have plenty of place, plenty of space for the gas and the brake. I don't know if my dad messed up with the steering wheel, um, which is fine. Anyway, tr pull, turn the headlights on, pull that out. You have running lights off all the way out as headlights. So this here is the fuel switch. Because this truck does have two fuel tanks, uh, you can switch switch them. So I'm running off the front tank right now. Uh, it's not exactly correct when it goes, when it's off, it does kind of idle down. So I have a little less than, or a little more than a quarter tank. I'm relatively full, so that's nice. Um, and then switching to the rear tank. Actually, I'll show you guys. Um, now I will say this truck. Oh, hold on. I'll just shut up and let's, let's start it up. <laughs> I love this truck so much. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You can switch this tank uh, while you're driving. Uh, so if we take a look over there, um, it'll switch before, oh, hold on. So I just switched it from rear to, or front to rear. I'm sorry, my camera's not focusing. Now, my rear tank meter is broken. So as you can see, I have plenty of gas. Now, that is also the fact that that rear tank is full. Um, but I think the center itself is broken. Uh, if I switch it back to front, you kind of just see it will slowly fall back to F on the other one. So I'm not entirely sure, um, what the problem with that. Please, please just focus phone. Um, anyway, so yeah. Now that the trucks are side by side, you can kind of see the size comparison. This thing is definitely much bigger than the Ranger, but yeah. Just like a big old tailgate. Going from this tailgate to the Ranger's tailgate, I'm like, whoa, that thing is so much lighter. I still wanted to show you the rest of the truck, which not too much left to it. Um, you got two cup holders. I might put something in here because uh, they're just kind of shallow and they're kind of wide, so they don't hold very well. You got this cover that goes over it. Hey, that's funny. Just right before I started recording, I tried closing it. It wouldn't close all the way. Uh, yeah, there it goes. There we go. Now we got the center console. I need to organize all this stuff in here to a mess. Just because it's a truck doesn't mean it shouldn't be clean, despite the fact you live on a gravel road. Anyway, so I might as well use the seat that moves forward. All right, so this is the back seat. Um, I just usually have this back platform down, but nevertheless, I still like to show you guys how it is. And boom. You have a bench seat back there. And I've had four people in this truck at once. Um, and it's not, <laughs> I thought it wasn't as that much room back here, but, and now that I think of it, it's really not, but it's definitely, I would say it's, it's different than the Ranger, I will say, cause you have the, the sideways seats in that truck and you have the bench seat in this truck. So when this thing is all the way back, just get my phone real quick. All right, so I'm kind of a big guy. I'm like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, right now. And my knees definitely touch the back of the seat 
with this thing all the way back. And that would, no, I actually don't think it is all the way back. Oh no, it's not. Nah, it's all the way back. So even then, I'm kind of a big guy, but if I wanted to, I could still easily have plenty of room right here. So it, there's definitely pros and cons to this truck, but nevertheless, if you need to carry someone, like someone's on the side of the road and you need to take them home and you already have someone in the front seat, you can take them home. This truck can fit up to six people. So you have this turns into a seat and you have three people in the back. Um, now you do have actual buckle, like shoulder seat belts too. You have like a lap belt in the middle, which are underneath the seat right now. But overall, this is a good truck. Now you might be wondering, what am I, what in the world am I going to do with two trucks? I could technically drive that one if I need to in gas and use this for, for towing. That was my original plan. I was going to use the Ranger for just getting around town and this one for if I need a little bit more horsepower. However, uh, pl plans change in life. Um, my sister is now a legal driver and she uh, has her own things to do now. And she recently bought, uh, probably a few months ago back in January, she bought a 1997 Dodge Dakota. And <laughs> Not even a month later, the transmission went out. Now, we still have this truck, and I'll show you guys in a second, but um, that truck is inoperable. So I decided, hey, I have a truck, and I have two trucks. My mom has a car, and dad has a car. So we have four vehicles all around. I'll let you use one, and I'll use the other one. And I let her drive the more fuel-efficient one because uh, she doesn't make as much money as I do, and I make more money, so naturally, I can pay for the gas in this thing, and she can pay for the gas in the Ranger. So naturally, I wanted to help my sister out that way, and it's worked really well. And when she needs horsepower to pull the horse trailer, then she can borrow this one, and I can use that one for the day, or whatever it may be. So honestly, I'm just glad I can help my sister out in that way. Um, but that was the original plan. The original plan was for me to use this one, and she can use or use this one if I need more horsepower and that one if I don't. But nevertheless, I'm still really happy with both these trucks. Um, and I was kind of tempted to buy another car that was more fuel efficient. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I do have a lot more footage I'm going to show you, but I'm going to make a different video on that. Uh, just keep all these videos shorter. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave a comment down below and leave a like as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Ezra, signing off.